Hi, I'd like to tell you about electric flux. Um, electric flux is a concept created by Gauss um, to calculate electric fields. And um, it's, it's actually, when you calculate electric flux, you calculate the electric flux traveling through a surface. And so um, let's talk about that. If you think of um, the electric field as being the red lines, if I put a positive test charge there, it would be it would uh, move to the right. Okay, if I put a negative charge there, then it would move to the left. And um, I'd like you to see these different areas as being the same area but different orientations. So if this is where the card, it's like this, but this one is more like that, and this one right here would be more like that. That's what I'd like you to see. So boom, boom, boom. Okay, I want to talk about the flux through each one of those. So you can think of uh, electric flux as the flow of field. And um, we'll use the analogy, uh, it's kind of like sunshine through a window, where this is the window and the sunshine is, is the electric field. So the more, the brighter the sun is, the more sunshine you're going to get. But also on um, the orientation of the window will determine how much sunlight goes through the window. And so, and also the other thing that affects how much sun goes through the window, sunlight goes through the window, is the size of the window. So if we want the most sunshine through the window, what we want is a very bright day, lots of electric field. We'd like the window to be, the, the surface area to be um, oriented just like this, like this third one. And we would like um, the window to be as large as possible. Okay, so this one has the most flux through it. This has no flux through it, and this has some flux through it. If the, if the sunlight's heading this way, this window has the most sunlight going through it. This has the next uh, most. And then if it's like this, the sun is going by like that, and none of it's going through the window. Okay, so let's take a look at another case. Now we have less sunlight. So we'd say the intensity of the field is less. And so even though um, this is the same size window, there just is less flux, less electric flux. Um, keep in mind with this, um, with this electric field like it is, it's the same value everywhere because these lines are not diverging or converging. These lines are evenly spaced, so we say the electric field is uniform. So it's the same here as here as there. What I mean is if I put a positive test charge right here, it's going to get pushed that way with the same force as if I put this, the same positive test charge right here. Okay. When I say positive test charge, that's being redundant. All test charges are, are, are always should be considered to be positive. Okay, so um, this is the equation then for electric flux. Now we're looking at this window and it's oriented like, like this. Okay, so I'd like you to think of it as being oriented like that. And here goes the sunlight, or the electric field, rather. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this um, area, the area of this thing, it's got a magnitude, and we're also going to give it um, a, a vector a vector quality. And that we're going to say that the vector is at a right angle to this. So if the, if the window is like this, then the vector is that way. If the window is like this, then it's like that. It's always perpendicular. So I'm going to call um, the, the vector A for area, I'm going to say that it's always normal to the surface. So here's A, and here is E. E at this location is this way. And so um, if you want it, that's the electric field. And so this is the equation for finding flux then. The equation for finding flux through here. We're going to give flux, um, we're going to call it um, phi sub E. That's electric flux. And um, it's just going to be equal to E, how much E you have, the magnitude of that, times um, the area of the window, just how big the area is. How much you have of that? I know it's weird to call um, to say area is a vector quantity, and really um, there's a there's a something that gets done with that. But I'm I'm we're, I'm gonna just teach it like it was a like it's a, a vector quantity, um, and then your your but your physics book might might give it might multiply it by a unit vector to to get the same thing done. Okay, but those aren't the only two things that matter. The angle that this makes also matters. 
And so um, I'm going to have a cosine of theta, where theta is the angle between E and A. Okay, now we can rewrite that a different way if we wanted to. Um, if we want, if we only want the part of E that's that's um, in the same direction as A, then another way of writing that is that the electric flux is equal to E, the vector E, dot the vector A. So this says take the part of E that's parallel to A and multiply it by A. Notice that this flux is a scalar quantity because the dot product is also called the scalar product, so it gives you a scalar quantity. Okay, going on. Okay, but um, sometimes the, uh, the electric field is not uniform throughout. So if the electric field is not uniform throughout, then um, we have a problem. Let's say that the field is um, stronger as you, the, the field as you go that way gets stronger and stronger and stronger. And uh, actually, let's have the field coming out at us this time. So we have um, a field going this way, and so, does, so is A going this way. By the way, you might wonder why E, why our A wasn't going, if it's defined as normally out of the surface, why is it not going this way? And um, you know what? It can be either one of those ways right now. Okay. Um, so, so here we go. There's field coming out, but it's not uniform. As you go to the right, it gets stronger and stronger. So it's, if I put a test charge right here, it gets pushed up at us. But if I put a test, the same test charge here, it gets pushed up at us at a greater force. So how do we handle the flux through that surface? And what we do is we break the surface into a bunch of little areas, lots of little DAs, and each one of these is a little area. It's heading toward us. And we're going to call that vector dA for a very, very tiny area. And so uh, that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to add up all the little fluxes through each one of those little windows. So the flux, a more general formula for, for electric flux, is you add up all the little E dot dA's. The flux that goes through there is E dot dA. Let me say that again. The little flux through this window, the little flux, that little flux is d phi sub e, and it's equal to the e going through there at any given point, and then dot dA. But if I want to get the total flux through here, then I'm going to um, take the integral of e dot dA. I'm going to sum all those up. Okay. Okay, moving right along then. For a closed surface, this is um, a, gets a, a little bit more interesting. For a closed surface, we define the direction of dA as being perpendicularly outward. So now it's not one way or the other. dA for a closed surface will always be perpendicularly outward. Now what do I mean by a closed surface? It's a surface where you have um, a, like a sphere or a cube as opposed to just um, like say this card. So like a deck of cards that has some volume or a box, that's that's considered a closed surface. And so the DAs are all going to be normally out, perpendicularly out of the surface for this for this surface. Okay, well here's the point then. If a closed surface has no net charge enclosed by it, then the net flux through it will be zero. So if I put in a surface, a closed surface there, and I ask myself how much, what's the total flux going through there, then um, it turns out that for every little dA I have right here, here's a little dA going this way, um, I have another one on this side. And um, so the E is on this side, the, this is the dA, and here's the E. And so that's a positive flux. But on the other side, the E is this way. It's that way. And the DA is this way. And so you see how that's a 180 degree angle? So if I want to find the, the little flux through this one, it'd be D phi is going to be E dot DA. Oops, no, just E dot DA. 
Yeah, but that dot product is gonna that's gonna be 180 degrees, the cosine of 180 degrees. Catch you on the next one. Thanks.